So we're going to look at a, n a different method for converting from base 10 to another base. And this method is very reliant on having a good calculator that can, uh, keep lots of decimals. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter, um, like in this case where there's not a lot of decimal values, but oftentimes there are. So first thing we're going to have to do is find the largest power of 5 that divides into this. So let's see here, 5 to the 1 is 5, 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is 125, 5 to the 4th is 625, and that's too big. So we're going to start out by taking 348 and dividing it by 125, uh, or in other words, by 5 cubed. And actually, let me actually write it that way, because maybe this will help clarify that we're dividing by powers of 5. And we're going to get a number out of this, and we're doing this on a calculator this time, so instead of getting a remainder, we're going to get a decimal, a decimal value. So in this case, it comes out to be 2.784. Uh, so we're going to hold on to that whole value, but, and we're going to, uh, sort of jot it down, and then we're going to continue operating using that, uh, decimal value that remains. And so on your calculator, you can now take this value and subtract 2 to end up with 0.784. So next, to get our next value, we're going to multiply this by 5. This is going to shift us in our place value. So multiplying this by 5, we get, we get 3.92. So again, we're going to jot down this number, subtract 3, and bring down that corresponding decimal value. Now we're going to multiply by 5, and we get, uh, let's see, we're going to get, uh, 4.6. Again, we're going to keep track of that 4, uh, subtract it out, leaving us with a decimal of 0.6, and multiply by 5, and we're going to get 3.0. And at this point, we are done. Now, notice that because we first divided by 5 cubed, we're going to end up multiplying by 5 three more times to get done. Uh, because in our place values, right, 5 cubed would go here, and there's three more place values after it. So we need to multiply by 5 three more times to get all of our place values. Now these numbers, 2, 3, 4, 3, are uh, the corresponding place values. So the whole numbers that come out here end up being our place values. So we get 2, 3, 4, 3, base 5 as our result. Let's do one more real quick. So here's another one. And so we start with, 3,007, and we're going to divide this by, now the highest power that divides in is 625. That's, uh, 5 to the 4th is 625. So we divide here, and we get 4.8112. So we keep the 4, bring down the 0.8112, and we multiply that by 5. So we multiply that by 5, and we get 4.056, we keep the 4, we bring down the 0.056, we multiply that by 5, and we get 0 0.28, and we keep the 0, and bring down the 0.28, and we multiply it by 5, and we get, uh, 1.4, uh, and then we keep the 1, and we bring down the 0.4, and we multiply by 5 again, and we get 2.0, we keep the 2. And there's our final number, 44012, base 5. Again, we read off those whole values to come up with our base 5 number. And again, the 5 isn't part of the number, it's just written there to designate what base that number's in.